Can I be real with you for a second? Stop wasting time with complicated design tools. Kittle just dropped a pen tool that's so smooth and beginner friendly it might actually replace Illustrator for good. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to use it like a pro, even if you've never touched a pen tool before. Trust me, this is going to level up your design game. Whether you're designing t-shirts, logos, or detailed illustrations, a smooth pen tool can save you hours of frustration. But most tools, let's be honest, are either way too complicated or just plain clunky. Let's compare for a second. In Illustrator, drawing clean curves, it's messy and takes time. In Canva, you can barely do it. But in Kittle, just click, drag, and boom, perfect curves. Clean control, minimal effort. It honestly feels like drawing with a pencil, but smarter. This isn't just another design feature. It's a whole new way to create fast, fluid, fun. With Illustrator, you're spending big money and investing weeks learning the tool. Canva is easy, sure, but there's no real pen tool power. Kittle gives you the best of both worlds, pro-level features with a beginner-friendly flow. For creatives, freelancers, and Etsy sellers, it's a dream come true. So let's stop talking and start designing. If you're ready to work smarter, faster, and more creatively, let's fire up Kittle and bring your ideas to life starting right now. Let's jump in. We're now inside the Kittle design panel where all the tracing magic happens. Here I have an elegant cursive signature image that I'll be tracing and I'll show you exactly how you can trace it perfectly, step by step. To begin, I'll reduce the opacity of this image to make tracing easier. Next, we'll lock the image so it doesn't move while we're working. Just right-click on the image and select Lock from the menu. Now, let's activate the pen tool. Go to the toolbar at the bottom and click on the pen icon. Once selected, your pen tool is ready to use. To draw, simply click on the artboard to place anchor points. Continue clicking to shape your path. Click and drag to create smooth curves. If you want to make a sharp corner, just click once on the anchor point to stop the handles from creating curves. Now let's begin tracing the signature. I'll show you a very easy and beginner-friendly method unlike other design tools. Start by adding points roughly along the edges of your design. No need to create perfect curves right away, just follow the shape by placing anchor points. We'll fix the curves later, which is what makes Kittle so intuitive. Here, I've completed tracing the letter J. Now I'll move to the next letters, following the same method, placing points to outline the text. For the sake of time, I'll skip tracing each letter and jump to the next important step, refining and curving the path. To smoothen your trace line, select the path. Once selected, you'll see anchor points appear. Double click on each point to activate the curve and you'll see handles that let you adjust the smoothness of the line. Do this for every point that needs refinement like I'm doing here. This makes it incredibly simple to create clean flowing lines. Now I'll repeat the process for the remaining letters. Double click on the path, then double click individual points to make them curvy and use the handles to perfect the shape. Once your path is ready, it's time to add color. Select the path, go to the right side panel, and choose your desired fill color. Repeat this for each letter in the design.
Here's how the traced and colored signature looks clean, sharp, and fully editable. Now let's delete the original image. Go to the artboard, unlock the image, and delete it. If some traced lines still look rough, select the part you want to correct. You can remove extra anchor points and adjust curves to make everything look smooth and professional. And that's all. The signature has been perfectly traced and styled. Let's take one more quick example, a McDonald's style logo. Here I have the McD logo image. Just like before, select the pen tool and start adding anchor points around the logo shape. Again, I'm adding the points roughly first. Once the shape is ready, I'll refine the path, adjust the curves, and make the lines smooth using the handles. Now let's add color to the path. To do this, select the path, then go to the right side panel and choose your desired fill color. For this logo, I'll use McDonald's iconic yellow and remove the stroke for a clean, bold look. To complete the design, let's add a background. Go to the illustration tab, choose a square shape and place it behind the logo. To round the corners, drag the corner control handles. Then, send the square to the back and change its color from black to McDonald's red. All right, the logo tracing is complete. Now let's move on to something more advanced tracing garment CAD sketches, like this basic t-shirt design. This is a task that's nearly impossible in Canva, and it's exactly where Kittle stands out as a more powerful and flexible design tool. We're gonna trace this t-shirt using the pen tool. I'll begin by adding anchor points around the t-shirt outline, roughly following the path of the sketch. There's no need for precision at this stage, just focus on mapping out the shape. Once the path is complete, we'll move on to refining it. To clean up the outline, simply double-click on the path to reveal the anchor points. Then adjust them using the handles to create smooth curves. After that, let's fix the sleeve. Just a few adjustments make it look much more natural and professional. Now I'll add color to each path to separate overlapping sections and make the sketch easier to read. Once done, I'll delete the other sleeve duplicate this one, flip it horizontally and position it on the opposite side. After adjusting its placement, I'll send both sleeves behind the t-shirt body to keep the structure clean. Next, I'll adjust the neckline, making it smooth and slightly curved by tweaking the anchor points. Now that the basic outline is complete, let's delete the original image so we can focus on our clean vector sketch. Zoom in and check each part of your design. Make sure all paths are aligned properly and adjust any misaligned points for precision. Next, I'll change the outline stroke color to black. As a final touch, I'll add simple stitch lines to give it a realistic CAD look. These finishing details help make the sketch presentation ready. And that's it. Our t-shirt sketch is complete. This shows how powerful the pen tool in Kittle really is from logos to fashion design. You can trace and build anything with full creative control. If you'd like to try Kittle Pro, use my discount coupon to get 25% off. The link is in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you're planning to design and how you like the tutorial.